Hi, and I'm here with another video on Pascal's Triangle. And I think whatever we are learning through these videos is actually a fun learning, right? We are learning and it's fun also. Yes, in this series of Pascal's Triangle, today we are going to learn hockey stick effect in Pascal's Triangle. So how does a hockey stick looks? Hockey stick is something like this, right? Or it can be something like this. If I try to draw a mirror image of that, that will be something like this. Right? Okay. What are we going to find in the shape in the Pascal's triangle? So if we see properly and let me color one hockey stick in this Pascal's triangle. If I color this 1, this 4, this 10 and this 15, this forms a hockey stick. Right? This is the long stick of the hockey and this is the bend right this is in the shape of a hockey stick but what is special in this let me color this bend in green and now if we see properly this 15 is actually equal to the sum of all the numbers on the long stick 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 10 is 15 and 15 is written over here right yes so this is one stick and let me take a slightly longer hockey stick this time and if I start from here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and this 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 10 plus 5 15 and plus 6 21 and 21 is written over here which is in the bend of the hockey stick and now let's take one more hockey stick 1 plus 4, 5 plus 10, 15 plus 20 is 35 and 35 is over here. So this is the hockey stick in Pascal's triangle. There are only two things which you have to remember while looking for this pattern. First is the hockey stick should always start from 1. Right? It should always start from either the first element of the row or the last element of the row. Right? And this bend in the end of the hockey stick should be in the direction from where you are starting. Suppose in this case, in this particular case, we are starting from the right side of the triangle. So this bend is also towards the right, right? But if I start from here, if I take this hockey stick, in this case, I am starting from the left hand side of the triangle. So this bend should also be towards the left, right? So this 10 will be the sum of 6 plus 3, 9 plus 1, 10. Right? So this 10 is actually the sum of all the numbers in the stick, in the straight line. Right? So this is the hockey stick effect. What do you have to remember? You have to remember that the stick should always start from the first or the last element of the row. And the second thing which you have to remember is about the bend. The stick should always bend towards the starting point. Right? So if you are starting from the right hand side, this bend should be towards the right side. But if you are starting from the left hand side, this bending should be towards the left side. So this was the hockey stick effect in Pascal's triangle. And in next video, we are going to learn about the Fibonacci series. How do we find the Fibonacci series in Pascal's triangle? Yes, that's a little tricky. So bye bye till then.